This is going to be the first installment of my new vlog. Um, yeah, I was talking about it on social media and Facebook and Instagram as being um, just documenting my journey in creating a business because it's been tricky for me. And uh, I've, I've tried this a few times on YouTube of like using this as accountability, but somehow it feels a little different. Um, and if I just give myself, you know, every day I do something toward the business and I'm just going to come here and talk about it. And so today, um, I am actually getting ready to go into the restaurant and I'm excited. Like I was just called and given the choice of whether to come in or be the one who gets cut for the day. Um, and I was like, no, I was looking forward to it. So I'm going and there's just so much growth happening there that is not financial related, right? Like I went, I got a job because I felt like, I don't know, there were so many moments of despair of like just not knowing how to start a business, where to begin, what to do, and just wanting to feel like I knew how to do something, which is really interesting to then start a job where you know nothing, right? But, uh, but you know, I knew that I would be able to just do that physical act of like running food, talking to people, writing things down, right? And then once I was there, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, this is, does not make any sense. It's so much more lucrative for you to spend time working on your business. But life does not make sense. And it doesn't need to. And I think there's so much value in embracing that and just following the nudges. Um, earlier today, I also talked about riding the waves um, in, on my social media. And when you, you know, when you embrace everything, but when you're on the highs, and I think I said capitalize on the highs, then it makes the, the lows a little more doable. But that's not even it. Really, it's getting to a place and awareness level and acceptance level that when you are in the lows that you actually can see them as gifts and that you can see the lows as these beautiful doorways, these gateways to healing because when you're in a low, you're being triggered by something. Something is coming up for you that is deep within you, probably old patterns, something related to past trauma and it's coming up because it's ready to leave it wouldn't be coming up if it weren't ready to leave and we are at a place in our collective consciousness right now that we are truly ready to heal this stuff not just keep pushing it down and so for so much time like the narrative and it still is um, in mainstream society but when you're feeling bad like go have a drink when you're feeling bad just hurry up and get to the end of the day you can sit on the couch and Netflix and chill um, or go vent to a friend and we're at a place where it's changing now the friend the support is really amazing and can be super helpful but there's a difference between having someone to see you, to witness you in your purging of old stuff and having someone to just egg on your distraction, your like, I don't know. When you're in a place that you're not willing to accept it, you're just in deep resistance um, and we're kind of just like, oh, woe is me, which you know I've been there many times. Um, that's a different place than when we're willing to just see like, I feel so much pain right now. I feel so much despair. And when we can, I'm still working on this for sure. But when we can be in that deep pain and accept it and sit with it again, I'm still working on it because I'm not always good, but, but I have the awareness and, and this, it's been the amazing reminder for me right now that I have something to offer because sometimes when we're in our lulls, we forget, we forget. And I'm like, 
what am I even starting a business for? I have nothing to offer the world, right? Like we all go through these moments. And you know, I'm really happy to be on a high right now where I'm like, of course I have stuff to offer the world. Heck, I'm laying in a field of grass. Most people would just think this was weird. Maybe you do. But this bed of grass is helping to raise my vibration and I that's not even why I'm here it just feels so good since I was a little girl I would see big areas of grass and just like want to go there and uh, I'm really happy I found this one right now I have a love-hate relationship it's just a tangent with grass because you know it's not usually a very natural thing and um, you know the the landscaping causes a lot of noise and a lot of death of animals and so I've got such a love-hate relationship but oh look at it it just is so comfortable and supportive so anyway there's that but this is I'm just gonna leave it here today I just wanted a nice little introduction um, this is gonna be my daily vlog I will share whatever I did on the business so today I made these uh, a couple of video a couple of posts on social media which Will just be like a normal part of life but um, I'm gonna get this up on YouTube and I am working on my calendar for the week so I got my schedule from the restaurant and so um, that is going up so for now I just have to schedule my motion code opportunities week by week according to that schedule um, and yeah I think that's probably all I'm going to be able to do right now I did some meditation and I had an emotion code session with a client this morning so yeah I think I've got a, a nice little mix of things and I've got the next two days um, off from the restaurant and so I'm going to take some good time for self-care um, and also do some some stuff on the business and just write out some ideas and plans and um, get a basic website going this week so I'm gonna make that commitment um, I don't know how or what that looks like um, I have a domain that's like on something else that's KimberlyGrants.com I think and don't know how to get that um, anywhere so I'm gonna learn and even if it feels painful like, you know sometimes t taking time on technology feels painful to me because you know like it took a long time for those videos this morning to upload and then they didn't quite work and all I wanted to do was do this but little by little little by little little by little and I'm gonna keep following my bliss and I highly recommend that you do that as well following your highs as much as humanly possible because that is where the magic unfolds is when you're in a place that you're feeling good and and you'll know I know it doesn't always feel like it you'll know when you're doing something that is for you you know like this restaurant thing I was not sure like was I doing it from a place of panic because at some point I was or was I doing it from a place of expansion like am I gonna learn something here is there is there just something I'm called here to do? And now I very clearly feel the latter. But uh, there was a little while I wasn't sure. And so I'm sure we all have different things like this. But all right, I am sending you so much love on this beautiful Sunday in March 2023. I am going to upload this and I will see you tomorrow.